Hey guys, Alex here, and today I'll be doing another Blender video, particularly using the lattice feature. Now, I had an idea of possibly doing a series of mini videos on many of the features that Blender has on offer. And the idea is to make the videos as simple as possible, not overly complicated, just to get the mind going where you guys could possibly think to yourselves, well, you know what, I could use that on my modeling project for this reason or that reason. So the lattice feature particularly is not a new one on Blender, but it's a very interesting one. And we're going to be using it for deforming our model, but in a non-destructive manner. So essentially we're going to get the lattice, surround the object or the model, and then use the lattice for deforming the model rather than going into the edit mode and deforming our model by moving the vertices. So let me explain what I mean by here. So right now we've got two monkeys, the Blender famous monkeys. And anyway, if you want to add them, you just go to add mesh and then monkey. So that's basically it. So imagine we're going into this model here. Actually, let's just pick the one on the left hand side and you go into edit and you can see there's a lot of um, vertices here. So imagine you wanted to select one of those and you wanted to move say a section of the head upwards just because you want to deform it. You could see that, you know, that doesn't look very good, does it? So that's a very destructive way of messing up your model. So let's explain how the lattice feature works for doing the same thing, but without actually destroying your model as such. So let's remove this monkey here and work on this one here. So we've got the monkey in place. The next thing we want to do is basically add the lattice. And you can see it here in highlighted in orange. So we just want to scale it up. So we press S on the keyboard and we scale it up. So to be more precise, you can go into the viewports. So it's view, viewports, and in this case, I'm going to go front. And I want to press S on the keyboard to scale. And then I press X so I can scale it outwards. So it, it just passes the ears and the top of the head and the bottom of the chin. And then we go again, view, viewport. Now we go to top. And we do the same thing. That's pretty good, but we could actually scale it a little bit more. So it's S on the keyboard and then Y and then move your mouse to bring in just a little bit. So there we go. And then we go to view, viewport, and then left to right makes no difference. And sorry, my lattice has actually been deselected. I have a problem with my mouse, but that should be highlighted. It will be highlighted following these steps. And that looks pretty good. You know, it's just a bit, a bit, a bit of tolerance between the back of the head, the front, the top, and the chin. And that's what we want on all, base, on all, all views. So now that's in place, what we want to do is go down to this feature, this, this uh, object data icon, click on it, and we've got resolution W, B, sorry, U, V, and W. So we bung the U up to 4, bung the V up to 4, and bung W up to 4. So essentially we've just added more vertices. Now you see these points here, these little points here, so... Uh, Those points there, 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 those are going to be your control points. And I'll explain in a bit what I mean by that. So right now we have the object in place and we have the lattice in place. So what we need to do is actually connect the object to the lattice. So it sort of sticks together essentially. So to do that, we have to select our object, not the lattice, but the object. Go to the modifiers tab, this one here that looks... Um, like a wrench, click on that, and then go to modifier, and then lattice. And after that, you want to go down here to objects, and then select lattice. So what's that doing is you're, you're connecting basically the object to, to the lattice. So what do we do now? So what we can do now is essentially we, we go and select the lattice, go into edit mode, so you can do that by going to object mode and edit. And then if you select one of the vertices on the lattice, say that one there, you can probably just see it, highlighted there in white. Click the move tool. You could see you're actually deforming your object, but in a very non-destructive way. You could do the same on this side, bring out the ear. 
You can do the same on the chin over here if you wanted to. Uh, it's probably the best way to do it is select that vertices and then that one and that one. And you can push it down. And you can see it's a very non-destructive way of editing or deforming your model because if you go back to your model and go to the edit tab, you can see you haven't messed around with the physical vertices of the model, which really deforms it. So that's basically the tutorial for the day. And you know, you can imagine if you have far more complicated models and you just want to tweak things and move them, or maybe you want to have a face that's somewhat deformed or, or, or having some facial expressions. Um, so let's say you want him to raise his, raise his eyebrow. You can do that. In fact, let's bring that one down and then bring this one up a little bit more. And you can, you know, you can just mess around with it. And of course, we've only, on the lattice, we've actually have uh, one, two, three, four points on each side, but you could actually have far more um, breakups of the lattice so you can control more areas of the actual model itself. So I hope this is coming handy. And, you know, if you like the video, subscribe, click the bell notification icon, and uh, I'll try to make several more of these in the near coming future. So hope you like this and we'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.